Dear specialists and friends of teaching innovations, what a great morning. I'm so happy to uh, see this kind of uh, great, great day here in Helsinki. An interesting seminar, thanks to Saku and the whole 100 team. Uh, as it is the last day of the seminar, you have already heard how highly we Finns value education. It's our society's cornerstone, asset and guarantee of equality. Everyone has a, a right for education of high quality. On this basis, we have the best teachers and a very equal education system. We are very proud of this. Uh, I'm sorry for my excitement, but I only started in June. <laughs> uh, talking about innovation, uh, our comprehensive school was, according to me at least, one of our most significant innovations in the 1960s and 1970s. One could even argue that it is the most important innovation of this century, at least here in Finland. The fact remains, however, that innovations get old. Nowadays, this happens faster than the, during the last century. The pace of change of know-how, technolo technology and work make innovations very soon as yesterday's innovation, in, inventions. The external pressure of our good schools are under is tough. And like in any big change, the ones who succeed are rarely those who fight against uh, these changes. Those who adopt new approaches are able to find new opportunities and beat those left behind. I am uh, very optimistic and proud about our school network in Helsinki. Our schools possess many of the kind of strengths that make us a top country in education and Helsinki a top city. And best of all, Helsinki has a newly approved ambitious city strategy, which without a doubt can lead us in the right direction. As far as education is concerned, the strategy is based on two main objectives. Every school is Helsinki, in Helsinki is a good school. You can put your child in any school in Helsinki. And the second one is Helsinki is the world's most impactful place for learning. Uh, impactful is an interesting word. For me, it means uh, the small miracles we make at schools. We make the life of the pupils different. Uh, it also means that our schools are all safe, of high quality, and they make an impact in the pupil's life. In Helsinki, parents should be able to, cho school, uh, to choose their local school without any worry. Our comprehensive school innovation still guarantees that the education in our schools is of high quality, regardless of one's place of residence or background. This requires fighting against the internal segregation of the city. When it comes to our schools, we have succeeded quite well in this uh, compared to, any, uh, to many other cities. Helsinki has achieved great results with so-called positive discrimination grants for schools faced with more challenging situations and pupils of uh, more disadvantaged backgrounds. Equal opportunities are a matter of honor for us. As for the management of change, in Finland we highly value the teachers' professional freedom uh, to implement the curriculum as part of their work. In leadership, this requires confidence I think we already uh, heard the word trust and interaction. There has to be a mutual understanding of where we are going, but we do not want to tie teachers' hands. There is not just one right way of putting things into practice. We want to be a leader in how we support the schools and the teachers through changes. We defined our values and objectives objectives together. Different innovations are ways of putting things into practice. Hopefully every professional will find his or her own take of uh, putting things into practice. Hopefully every professional will find uh, uh, the teachers uh, will see it especially important that they have a say in their own work. 
This can also be seen in the quality of the education. In this case, obligatoriness is not the most effective way of getting things done. If we want results, they have to come from people themselves, the teachers. What we can do as a city, it is to provide every innovation with a platform and channels to spread it. We can be in the downstream of ch change, stay curious and decisive. In Helsinki, we navigate our schools toward the top of phenomenon-based learning. Phenomenon-based learning furthers the kind of wide-ranging uh, knowledge that will be needed in the future, especially flexible thinking and problem-solving skills that exceed the limits of science and subjects. Technology is a good help when it comes to implementing phenomenon-based learning. These are the kind of skills emphasized today when the questions to be solved are not unequivocal. Phenomenon-based learning and the phenomenon-based method requires comprehensive, systematic change of operational culture and methods. The key is to renew the pedagogic practices and approaches. In Helsinki, we have started this education reform. The leaders, the principals, are in a key position when it comes to making change happen. This, in turn, uh, requires strong and innovative leadership, the ability to learn new things and the courage to let go of old habitual routines. Understandably, it's not easy to, for everybody. We have responded to this with support and education for the management of change. However, the schools need models of good practice in order to make the changes happen and a will of finding out what others are good at. I know that the best schools in phenomenon-based learning in the world are represented, uh, represented here today in this room. Uh, Helsinki also wants to be the leading city of phenomenon-based learning, but in the way that all schools in Helsinki are involved and phenomenon-based learning exists at the city level in, at every school as a whole. Today, the number of those schools are 70 and it will increase gradually. An enormous amount of people visit Finland each year to learn about what we do right when it comes to education. I myself have been host to many visits already in these couple of months. Our PISA scores have been a matter of pride and international admir admiration for long. We have, however, noticed that it is something that cannot not be taken for granted. It would also be an advantage for Finnish schools to uh, introduce innovations from elsewhere. Continuous development is not only something positive, it, says it is a necessity. I wish you all a fruitful seminar. I hope you take uh, with you some ideas from the, our system, and I hope those present here from Helsinki schools also get a new, uh, something new from you. Thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs>